guys i'm gonna be playing war robots uh on the steam deck and let's see where's that game uh they found it gonna be playing this i just want to make sure go to properties controller make okay disable steam input i wonder why i did that that must have been on my on my laptop i think i think that's that's why it must have been like that Right, so I'm gonna start up a uh, thing, what do you call this, uh, War Robots. I hope it doesn't cause issues. What's this one? Okay, so the game is starting, that's War Robots. Don't know why that came off. Right, I will be using uh, a DualSense controller to play the game. I'm using the DualSense controller to play uh, the game because that's what I use when I'm playing games on my Steam Deck. Uh, the physical mouse just makes it quicker and easier for me to select items that I want to select on my Steam Deck, right? It just makes it easier if I use a physical mouse because everything else is just going to be... Right, so in here I normally just come in to check on the game and obviously to play a few tasks, you know, just to keep things flowing. Right, um, so basically, I'm using a physical mouse. That's the physical mouse right there. And I'm using the DualSense controller. Like I said, it makes it quicker. I can use a, I can use the, you see, I can use this. There you go. I can easily, you see, I can easily use the controller. But you see how slow that is. A mouse is so much quicker. Okay, let me, right, so, it, that's that's why I'm saying it's just much quicker if I use a mouse than if I use the, the actual DualSense controller. But not saying that you can't use a DualSense controller if, if you didn't have a mouse. You can, uh, but this is just going to be so much easier and quicker if you use a mouse, yeah? So I'm just checking on these things. It's been quite a while since I've come into this game. Um, so... I know that already this has been a while since I've been here and I'm on level 32 actually it's quite good I'm gonna go into conver conversion just to see what I've got in here right so it's still doing the same same old same stuff I'm trying to build a scorpion igniter that's a flamethrower hell burner amanda that's a healing robot uh, capri and invader that's the one that jumps a scorpion can teleport. Help burn is the one that runs and kind of explodes uh, when it's running. Um, and when it dies, it can take out quite a few people. Igniter, that's a flamethrower. Right, I'm going to go to leaderboards and see what's going on with the leaderboards. Like I said, I haven't been playing this game on Steam for quite a while. So obviously, I'm not expecting a lot in here. Right, so this says two days, 16 hours. Uh, but I don't normally play the tasks in here anyway. I would have opted mainly, okay, it's giving me a data pad. I would have opted mainly to get uh, something like, um, I mean, if I was going to play a game like a proper, like for me these days, I, I like challenging games. So I would normally have played uh, War Robots Frontiers, but like I said, I do play this game. I do have this on my laptop as well installed. So if I'm not playing it on the Steam Deck, I would have been playing this on the MSI laptop anyway. So it's it's not a, it's not um, like I don't play the game. I do play it. It's just not as often, you know. Now, if you're gonna ask me why, because the, the issue with this game that I find that frustrates me the most, they have this habit of when they release a new robot, for example, the old robot that you had previously loses its um its capacity like it's let's say you had the old Koji for example which is a good robot and then suddenly like now the rapture's out and then your robot loses its its value you, you know what i mean so that kind of um that kind of frustrated me a bit like why is it every time they release a new robot your robot has to become less you know so it's like you're getting less for value for your money, uh, especially if you had purchased that robot. So 
it it just becomes uh, money based, isn't it? Uh, like pay to win. So I think that's what lost my my attention to this game. And then obviously was on mobile coming out on the iPhone and on Android, and the ability to play it um, to play it with the DualSense controller. This one here on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. I've got so many videos about it. That's a Z Fold 5, that's a Z Fold 4. That's why the stylus is there. So that's why I'm saying that when you've got option, other options to play games, then why come to a game like this that just wants you to always have, you know, the <laughs> always buy stuff. I, I don't understand this game. But anyway, um, it's saying win three battles. I'm gonna try and do that today. Uh, because like I said, I do try my best to come in here to at least complete one task if I can. And I'm not doing anything today, so I might as well try and win three battles. It's not a big task. And I do have good robots on me, so it's not a bad, um, you, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a big task. It's not something that I can't do. Right, so who's this lady? Uh, Zoe, let's see, who is she for? Uh, she's for Curie Ability Recharge Faster. Well, I don't have that robot. How nice of them to give me a robot that I don't possess. You know what that means to me? It's like they want you to, uh, to, to fuck. You see what I mean? They want you to spend real money to buy stuff, then uh, try and win that robot. And you know how much you're gonna spend? Like, it will start very small, in small increments, and as time goes on, you're, you're really gonna be spending a lot of cash on this. Right? This is interesting. They're bringing this like this i don't know what this these things are uh what's this thing called oh the d gems okay the d gems so you can actually use d gems to buy stuff in here uh if i had 300 i would have bought the keys that's a shame because i only have 250 on me that's that's a pity right so i'm gonna find something that can actually add up to the gems themselves you see th this is why i'm saying they're enticing people you know like saying, oh, look, if you just add 50 D gems, you could have bought platinum. You could have gotten the keys. And you think to yourself, oh, it's just 50 D gems. And before you know it, you end up spending more money than you should have. You know? So that's, that is what puts me off playing this game. It's not that the game is bad. It's not a bad game. I've played this game uh, for about four years now. I've said that I started off with the, with the iPhone. And not with the current iPhone I have, but with a different iPhone. And obviously throughout time, I have been uh, playing it on Android. And then obviously when it came to Steam, uh, back then the graphics weren't that impressive. So I never played it because it was just, it was before Remastered came out. You, you understand what I mean? Before the Remastered came out, that's when I was playing it. You know what? I want to buy weapons. It says I can get the attack boosters. Or I can get these, but there's MK2 weapons. Then I'm thinking, but this this would actually set me apart. So if I get these 50, 45 boosters, and then I get the defense boosters as well, I'm just thinking of it in a in a way that's gonna benefit me. Weapons are good, yes, but if you already have weapons and good robots, then you don't actually need those, do you? It's better for you. Well, I'm wasting my time now because. I spend I spend the boosters now. I mean the DJs. Right. Uh, let's see. Anything here? Nope. Nothing. Right. Let me. I want to go to my mothership. I do use Orion. I want to see if there's anything to upgrade in here. Nope. They do not give you anything. Uh, I think that's an upgraded one, isn't it? I was saying I've got one diamond thing. Ages. Right. These do require two two. You know what I'm thinking? I must have come in here before then. That's Orion. I've got Dreadnought 40, Monarch 7, North Light maxed out 60, Frozen Scorn maxed out 60, Thor maxed out 60, Palladian uh, 9. Yeah, I must have come in here before. That's what I'm thinking. Because all of this just more or less like deja vu. So I've got two Ochi coaches in here, which unfortunately these... I have to say it this way, the Ochi coaches are not strong like they used to be strong. They're weak now. I've got a Harpy, a Kirsten Harpy, a Loki, and I've got a Scavenger, Hemingdell in the background. So that's Hangar 1. Hangar 2, I've got two Dagons, uh, two Kirsten Harpies, and an Angler, which, to be honest, I'm going to swap this dude out for 
I think another Kirsten Happy, right? I would have gone for the Scorpions. What are these Happy is that? Ah, uh, no, this one's still in the field, right? Wait, yeah, yeah, I'll get this, this, this one. This Happy. Yeah, then that's a better combination. So the Dagons, uh, the three Kirsten Happies. This one's got Hurricanes on it. It's got those missiles. The missile range of Hurricanes, 1,100 meters. It's got that new uh, weird um, heavy, I don't know, it's like a, let, let me go into it. This thing called the the Fanball. Fan bow. So the Fanball has a close range heavy weapon capable of, I can't see what it's saying. All right, I have to scroll upwards. Inflicting electric shocks on multiple enemies in a cone of a fire, electric shocks uh, also accumulate on effect on enemies that disable the move their movement. Okay, so it's like um, it's like a lockdown weapon, sort of. If you think about it, it's like a lockdown. It's not really a lockdown weapon, but it's similar to lockdown. It says like when it's hitting the robot, it slows it down. So it's not really able to move properly. So that's what it does. It just causes shocks. That's that's. Uh, it's got high damage though, 25, uh, 10. So 2,510 damage. But the, the 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 robot needs to be within 100 meters. So if that robot's got better weapons than you, you're dead. And the hurricanes, like I said, the damage range on these is 100, uh, 1,100 meters. Uh, I've got a few new weapons in here. Right, so my other harpies have the crew bane and the spirit rasdo. Those are bendy bullets. Uh, crew bane is the one that fires the yellow stuff out. That's uh, dot damage. Uh, so they're actually really good. You know what? I want to look at modules. That's that's where I'm curious about modules. Uh, it's got good modules. Not so good. So I need two, four. I'm actually counting them as I as I look at them. You see the modules. Four, I need seven modules. Right, okay, fine. I'm gonna go to this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy's got, see? I mean, he, he's not, he, he doesn't need them right now. I'll, I'll come and give them back. This is the other reason why you need a mouse. You see how quick, how quick this is to just go in here quickly and uh, get what you need. See what I mean? So you don't waste time. Because if you're using the gamepad, this will take longer. It just movement is not that good. Right, so I'm going to swap this quicksand damper for that damper and take that one off. I mean, it's the same weapon, it's just I want to put that on a different robot. Right, I know I'm going to come back. I will come back uh, with with um, the normal armor kits because I'm not using these. Actually, this one's got good weapons. The hazard weapons and crew bane. That's a, that's a um, harpy. Right, this dude has got the repair amplifier. I do need to take that off. Uh, this is an angler. Right, this dude doesn't have much on him now. Right, I would have wanted at least to have the drones as well. But that's just going to take too long for me to actually do. Like, to get, to get those drones and stuff. Right, I'm going to keep the Dagons because I think Dagons are actually good. I'm going to give it an immune amplifier. That means if it's uh, hit by any weapons that try to freeze it, the amount of time will be less. A nuclear amplifier obviously is for power, you know, the source of damage, uh, damage output, and the repair amplifiers for healing. Right, so that's the healing done, sorted. Weapon-wise, got two spears, uh, you got two of the um, laser weapons, and you got toxin. So toxin, uh, target the armor, so the spear, if you got those skyroses around disturbing you, the round ones, the, the round, you know, the ball robots, these spears do, um, what are these things? Sorry, the needles. I don't know why I'm going with spears. These two needles will cause a lot of damage. And plus the toxin do attack the armor. The laser weapons do attack any robot with uh, shields. So that's why I'm saying that it's, uh, it's really good. Right, so in here I need to see what I'm gonna give this dude. I'm gonna give him immune amplifier. I'm going to try and give him a repair amplifier. Now, why am I doing it this way? Because immune, like I said, uh, lessens the effects. 
and uh, repair uh, actually adds the healing so i don't feel like it needs too much of that and plus these ones are not leveled up as much as i would want them to right so i'm i'm a bit skeptical with the balance unit i think balance unit needs to be given to a robot that's got a lot of weapons on it right so the this dagon's got two spears it's got laser weapons and it's got needles um i'll, I'll keep the spears because i mean basically uh, they, they're okay they're not bad right i've run out of the immune amplifier i'm thinking i'm gonna go for balance unit and then i'm going to actually not go for repair unit but go for this uh nuclear amplifier damage output and uh the balance unit means all these weapons will the output will be more da more damage obviously you know it's a combination of your damage output is more but obviously if i could update upgrade this i would oh it needs gold what do i not need oh 24 million wow that's a lot that's a crazy that's a crazy price to ask right let me jump into here and give these dudes because i don't need this one now i i don't have a use for it so i'm just gonna give it back to this dude and give him some armor kits that's a repair amplifier and armor kits uh have i lost my interest in uh in the robots like these robots the problem is like I said, every time they release a new robot, they do decrease the damage output of the other robot that you ha would have purchased. The OG coaches were good before, they're not good now. If you get into a match now, you will find that people can easily annihilate you. They will annihilate you, see, so that's the problem I've got. Wait, you saying the middle one doesn't have anything. That's weird because I just went to it. You saw that, right? I went to it and it wasn't like showing anything. Right. Um, so these are fine. The OG coaches, I'm, I'm being honest, they're not that good. They're not that good. Like, very disappointing because when I got when I got those robots, and you know, I didn't have the OG coaches for a long period of time. I had them for a short period of time. And then suddenly I'm playing with them and I'm noticing that the value of these OG coaches is not good. If I wanted to swap the Dagons, I wouldn't go for Ochikochi. I would go for the Scorpions, these uh, Techno Scorpions, or even that Scorpion in the middle. Or even the Crimson Hawk is better than the Ochikochi. In fact, this entire hangar with these Scorpions and uh, the Hawks is 100% better than having Ochikochis. That thing will go on the field. Yeah, you cause a bit of damage. You'll push people away. But at the end of the day, it's not good. I, I just, I, I don't recommend Ochikochi. You see, I'm, I'm I'm even ignoring it. Like, should I get the Crimson Hawk? Then that way, I'll just have flying robots. You see what I mean? Because this one is MK2. It's leveled up. This one is a level 11. So the next level will be MK. I think MK2. Right. So I could have taken these two as well, flying. But I think, that's why I said, I think the Dagons are okay. Uh, I might change my opinion about them. And instead come in for the scorpions instead of getting the you see they've they've actually got mod, good modules on them so i wouldn't need to do much work but this dude has got good weapons this this robot does actually do a lot of damage with the stellar hornets and the blights does a lot of damage uh this one's got very good weapons teramok hell those are uh, freeze weapons and the uh, elder rich uh, chromolis these are bendy bullets so this has good weapons as well that's why I'm saying I could have made it all flying, but I think the Dagons are not uh, bad robots as such. They're not bad, right? I'm not gonna change these weapons. I think these weapons are good. Uh, so, right, I, I don't even know. I don't, you know what? When I'm looking at these robots, I don't even know why sometimes I've taken the weapons and put them the weapons on them you know it's just crazy sometimes wait is this saying there's other skins to this okay that's weird how many skins do i have it's saying two right so rook is on this one i just want to see what rook has got on him right an onslaught re reactor level two it's got a damage control level two self unit level one titan anti-cooler right so that's the same as the immune amplifier 
uh, self fixed unit is the same as a repair kit damage controller well slightly similar to a nuclear amplifier uh, the onslaught reactor is similar to the to that um, uh, I don't know what's like a nuclear amplifier if you want to say they're similar because these are both damage output except the damage controller covers your gray area you know like when you're getting hit and your life is going down and it's kind of shrinking down that's called the gray area so what this does it reduces that so instead of your life going down to zero it kind of stops at a certain point and starts building back up that's how war robots is played isn't it right so i'm, I'm just jumping into the the robots to see what i've got the, i mean the titans this one's got two onslaught reactors both level one it's got an antimatter reactor level six it's got a self fixed unit level five and this Newton is a level 26 and it's got the correct um, Titan pilot. This is an Indra and this Indra needs to come. Everything in here is maxed out. Uh, Titan accelerator, the, the accelerator, that's for speed, maxed out level 25. Quantum sensor, that's for detecting robots or Titans and stuff, the ones that try to hide. Uh, this is maxed out level 25. Cannibal reactors, maxed out level 25, that's damage output. And self fixed unit level 25, that's for healing. That's maxed out. Uh, weapons are uh, scavenger uh, dazzle. That's a blinding weapon. That means the robots or titans, as long as you're targeting them, they can't aim at you properly. Then the Folga is like uh, electrical weapon. I think this does damage at 800 meters. And then I've got the Kraken Vajra. And the Kraken Vajra does damage at 500 meters. It's like a shotgun alien weapon. Uh, that one is like an energy weapon. Does damage at 800 meters. And scanning the does 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 damage at 600 meters, but this one solely only does damage in terms of um, where uh, the the actual robot is. You know, like you need to be focused on a robot. But then if other robots are attacking you, that's the only problem. You can't blind all of them. Uh, this dude is going up to level 80. He's on level 70 at the moment. So I just have about three lines to do with him. Uh, promotion is 12, uh, 2000. I've only got a thousand of those, uh, whatever you call those things. Wait, let me see. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, let me see what they're called. Um, oh, yeah, memorism. I forgot. You know, I, I knew the name, but I had forgotten. This dude's almost maxed up. Right, so I want this Titan to go to where um, I'm having the other one. So I I think it's this one. Or am I wrong? Let's see. Where did that one go to? All oh, right, wait. I sent it to the wrong one. This is a Baloo Luchin that's got two Kraken, uh, two Vajras, and it's got uh, the Tainons. That's an energy weapon. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, two Cannibal Reactors. Uh, one's level two, the other's level one. self fiction at level five. Damage control at level uh, two. Right, so I need to swap this dude for the Indra. Right, I think it's now all good there. Yeah. So I got Rook level uh, level thirteen. I got Newton level twenty six. I got Scavenger Amidal level ten. I got uh, Balu Luchindo level fourteen. Newton is level four. Uh, Karura Aether is a level three, and I've got uh, Stella Sirius. That's a uh, level seventeen. Kraken Indra is level ten. Right, um, weapons. I've got this Kraken Vajra weapon. Um, I'm just looking at things I have that are not doing anything and the, and the Vajra, but I can't sell those. They're too valuable. Those, yes, they're old weapons, but still, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm going to show you all the robots I've got. Right, I'll just be saying the names because I'm not going to say what level they are. Uh, Nida, Angla, Angla, Erebus, Erebus, Nida, Lynx. Baloo Lynx, uh, Quicksand, Opian, Opian, Scorpion, Technoscorpion, Technoscorpion, Crimson Hawk, Crimson Hawk, Angler, Loki, Harpy, uh, Anon, Orochi, Orochi, Sheriff, Dementor, Nightingale, Sheriff, Dementor, uh, Ancient Tier, MK2, uh, Ultimate Distry, uh, Corrupted Fafnir, Corrupted Fafnir, Mars, MK2, Level 4, uh, Warrior Typhoon MK2 level 4. Uh, this one is a uh, Skyros uh, Geopad Seraph MK2 level 4. 
uh, Eldritch Capri, uh, Cruel Orochi, Hoppy, uh, Ardent Imuji, Scavenger Shell, Scavenger Shell, Lynx, uh, Crisis, Lynx, Crisis, Imuji, Crisis, Lynx, Imuji, Ivory, uh, Ravenna, uh, Megalodon Orochi, uh, Cruel Orochi, Gothic Mouse, and Skyros, uh, Warrior Typhoon, Siren, Behemoth, uh, what's the next one? Shell, Freedom Skyros, Crimson Hawk, Harpy, Leo, uh, Ardent Imagey, Ardent Imagey, Leech, uh, Megalodon Orochi, Siren, Stellar Cerebus, MK2 Level 1, uh, Scavenger Shell, uh, Natasha, uh, Cryptic Fafnir, Seraph, Ultimate Spectre, that uh, Spectra, sorry, Level 2, uh, Warrior Typhoon, uh, Ardent Imagey, Ardent Imagey, uh, short, I think that I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. The shout S C H U T Z E. This one I think was like a free price, uh, got it for free. Uh, Retro Revenant, uh, Scavenger Shell, uh, Dread Shell, Revenant, uh, Retro Revenant, Ivory Ravana, Ivory Ravana, Freedom Skyros, Non Surf, and Non Surf, Skyros, Siren, si uh, Surf, Siren, Warrior Typhoon. Megadon Orochi, uh, Cruel Orochi, Retro Revenant, Butch, uh, Hoover, Hover, Bolt, Stalker, Stalker, uh, Rogata, and Geopath. Right, so I'm going to tell you some, a, a story about this robot. I've had this robot ever since uh, War Robots before they remastered. I'm serious. I, I, I kid you not. I've had this robot since then. And this was one of my first robots in the game and i've had it since and anyone will know that this it normally comes in blue i actually bought the skin for this one and anyone who knows this game knows how old this robot is and the only way to purchase this robot at the time when i bought it i had to pay four thousand gold just for this and the only reason i bought it because the only robot at the time that could fly you know like it could go up in the air and hover for a while then go down i used to use this to capture beacons so that this robot's been there for a long time and you can tell from the weapons themselves these weapons are old as well these cryo weapons those are freeze weapons the spear itself fine that's a bit it's not that old but the robot it's this has been there for a long time that's why i'm saying before war robots remastered i had this and um the other robots i had was bolt uh the stalker one Rogata because of jumping geopad was uh three light weapons uh, the other one I had is Butch, but I never used it that much. I'm trying to look. Yeah, and the Natasha one, the Natasha robot is what I used. This is before I got all these robots. These one mostly winning them or getting them for free. Like uh, sometimes all robots will give you free robots. And uh, yeah, so I had the Natasha and the Leo. Uh, th this is the Leo. So this one is very popular on uh, on raw robots. A lot of people know this. One heavy and three light weapons. And it always comes at a level five so you're not oh you know what i just i just remembered something i just remembered something uh so yeah leo and natasha